Hello everyone, I'm Zhang Ling and thank you for joining this webinar and let's go for our first topic. So the first topic is uh, how to run a wattage predictions and we need to know what is wattage first. Um, the wattage is a differential distortion caused by the uneven shrinkage and the uneven shrinkage usually caused by the, the fiber orientation uh, differential temperature distribution or uneven package effect. So if we want to have a, a correct wattage result, we must make sure we got right fiber orientation result, right temperature, right packing distribution in our simulation. So what we need for a simulation, we need a, a, a geometry for the part, we need uh, the runner layout, the cooling channel layout, and the process condition and the materials. For example, uh, the gate location will affect the flow pattern, and the fiber orientation is determined by the flow pattern. So if we don't get the right mode design or part design, we might get wrong result, flow result or wattage result. And also the, the temperature, more temperature, the material temperature will affect the, the temperature distribution for sure. The packing condition will affect the packing result and at the end, affect the wattage result. So what is a, a workflow we recommend for a wattage analysis? First, we need to collect the data, make sure we have uh, everything we need and do the pre-processing, include the mesh, process condition setting, computation parameter setting, and run a simulation. And now let's go through them one by one. First, collect the data. And here is the key data we need for a simulation. And first, the geometry for the part, the material, uh, mode design, and process condition if we already done the mode trial. Okay. And for the part geometry, usually there was uh, two different designs. One is uh, original design from a part designer, and it, we, we call it the target dimensions. 